So first of all, can you do a simple introduce for yourself? I'm Dee Zarin. Um, I live in Texas, United States, of course. Um, and I've been in the adult industry for over 10 years. Um, I am a hot wife, so I am married and my husband and I own a studio here in Texas. Um, and we shoot adult content, so we sell it all over. Um, and we have an open marriage, so we've been married for over 20 years. And uh -huh. basically, yeah, we decided about 10 years ago, a little over 10 years ago, to have an open marriage and we're swingers. And so, yeah, we basically just made our weekend adventures our career. So. <laughs> I got it. I got it. So you already do the poem video more than 10 years, right? Yes. Oh, it's so long time, you know. Very long time. Yeah. yeah and, and how did you decide to do this? Um, well, I was a teacher, so I was actually a school teacher. Um, huh? And my husband worked in um, IT, so he was a um, web designer and did a lot of uh, information technology type of thing, computer huh? design. Um, at, like I said, we were already swingers, so we were kind of involved in the swing style already, and uh, just decided I was tired of teaching, wanted to give it a shot. I started out on webcam, and from there went and basically did that strictly for about six months until someone asked me if I wanted to make a adult video, and why not? You know, thought about it. We do have a family, and thought about the repercussions of it, how yeah, it yeah. that, and um, just kind of went for it and decided it was something we wanted to do. So we just did it together, and he, he loves videography, he loves photography, he loves to watch, <laughs> and um, so, <laughs> yeah, it works well for us. <laughs> I got it, I got it. So uh, do you remember how many poem videos have you taken so far? Oh, shoot, over 300. Wow. <laughs> Most of it's mine. Um, uh -huh. I have my own website and I do have my own studio. Uh -huh. um, so it, most of the content is something that I own. Um, I've shot for other big companies throughout mm -hmm. the years, um, but I mainly use that as a marketing tool to come back to me. So uh -huh. um, like this year, for instance, I have been nominated for Best Clip Star and clip performer because a lot of what we do is real uh we yeah. shoot everything not much scripted content we don't make up stories everything yeah. we do is very real um we have a lot of fans so i have forms that my fans out and they can be part of my videos and so i shoot a lot of things that you know are real to my life we meet people and, and so everything we do is very gonzo very real if you look at gonzo just you know, very interactive and yeah, yeah, you know, is is very realistic. Like I said, we were sweet, so we did these things anyway. We just now put it on film, so yeah. I, okay, <laughs> so do you remember what was your mood when the first time you taken the the real poem video? Um, the very first time. Well, yeah, um, we did it. Like I said, we did it already. Um kind of anyway, as a swinger, uh, my husband recorded everything. He um, was in the background of, you know, the one who took the pictures, the one who did the video for personal use uh, for our swinger friends and we shared it. So he was always there as the guy with the camera. Um, so it was kind of already something we already did. But when it was the very first video I ever did. It was, I was just excited. It was, I actually did a video with um, Naughty Alicia, she is uh -huh. in the industry, but she was in the industry for a very long time, for about 16 years. So she was the first person to ask me, ask me to do a video with her. And she and I, it was about toys. Um, so it was just a big toy video. And, um, so I was just, I was just totally excited to be able to get into the industry. And, and so going from webcam to porn to me was just a very easy transition. Yeah. And it, yeah. And just make more, you know, fans and and get out there and yeah, I never it was never turning back. You know, it's something that I just was excited to do. I know. So, do you, for you, do you think uh, you have some different feeling 
when you on camera or without camera for the uh, when you do sex with your husband? Oh, definitely. Um, I, I mean, I, I would say I have two personalities. <laughs> <laughs> there's, you know, there's there's me and then there's D. <laughs> uh, D is very outgoing, and and I'm personally I'm very introverted. I like I said, I was a teacher. I, I love to read. I, I'm very quiet. I, I like to, you know. I'm I'm very much kind of alone. <laughs> I like to be alone. I have a huge group of friends. I'm not very social. Um, yeah. So I, I I kind of like stay with myself when I'm on my own. But you know when I'm D, she's the side of me that's very social and very out there and and you know is just willing to try anything and very much the exhibitionist side of me. So um, and going along with that side is my sexuality side. So I've always been, even at a young age, a very sexual person. And that was always the side of me that was willing to um, and the risk taker, you know, uh -huh. personality. So, yeah, definitely a totally different part of my personality comes out when she's the one that's around. So she's flirty and, and has no fear. <laughs> you know, uh -huh. The other side of me is more introverted and, and has some social anxiety. <laughs> um, but but when Dee's around, <laughs> she's definitely the one who, who doesn't have any fear. <laughs> so which which kind of yourself you like? The open one or the shy one? Which one you like? Uh, I like both. I mean, I do like both, but I think uh, yeah, I should say I would say uh, Dee's a lot more fun. <laughs> which can you are you were enjoying yourself more, a little bit more, which can? Definitely, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see. The side of me is a lot more fun. Yes, definitely. But because okay. I, I have a lot more friends, like I, all my friends are in the adult industry and all my friends are, you know, people who are, I feel like they're family and I feel like that's, that's my people. It, it, when I can see this side of myself and not have to hide myself or, or who I am, um, that I'm, I'm much more open and free and I can just be myself. So oh. because I live in Texas, because I live in a more conservative place, so when I have to be around, you know, regular people, then I have to kind of hide who I am. And, and that's not as much fun. I mean, I, I don't talk to people. I don't, you know, get out in the public because I can't be myself. So oh, yeah. I have to, I definitely like this side of me much more than I prefer. The other side which is just kind of being by myself okay so next one is very i think it's a difficult question tell me three your favorite porn actress oh my favorite porn actresses yeah um, three how three well because there's so there's so many that are my friends that's a hard question <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah i think it's quite a hard question right a long time and i love so many people um well, oh gosh <laughs> Well, Sophie D, Sophie D and I are very good friends, and I love her to pieces. She, she, uh -huh. I'm together, and she, she's just got the sweetest heart. And she's just got the sweetest soul, and, and she's amazingly beautiful, and everything yeah. is wonderful. Um, so that would be one. Um, let's see. Mm. Well, I mean, guy's side, I, I, I love Shane Diesel. He's awesome. He's great. I've shot with him too. I would love to see him more. Um, and then let's see, um, gosh, oh, you're putting me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm third person. I hate to You need a one more, choose. one more. I hate to pick and choose. Uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, I really like Abella Danger. She's like really popular right now and it's not yeah. just I just think she's like really cool. <laughs> and I, she you know, is famous. She's very yeah, famous now. That I think, you know, I would get along with really well. And and then I have to say, you know, one of my best friends is Alana Evans. She's the head of our union and she is like my heart and soul. And she's uh. great. And she's so I'll give you four. I think of the dangerous hot. I don't really know her, but but Alana Evans is, is one of my best friends. So I have I have to put her in there. <laughs> so I got it. I got it. <laughs> So, next question. If you have unlimited budget and you are a director, what kind of a poem story you want most to shoot? Mm, what kind no of budget. No budget. Unlimited budget. Um, 
shoot. Ah, uh, any of them. <laughs> I, and I'm limited, like I, if you, I'm more about like the type of porn I would like to shoot rather than the person. Uh -huh. um, I I really love um, very um, cinematic female oriented porn um, mm -hmm. and couple friendly porn. Things that are, are very erotic, things that are very sensual. So mm -hmm. um, that is you know my hope for the future for my studio at least from my side my husband um really is the director for my studio at this point so he, it's from his vision um and i my goal is to be my own um from my vision which um is more of a female perspective and i just think it would be great to have something that's just a little more sensual and and something that's more related to women um because i think there's so many that are afraid of it um, and and don't want to share it with their with men um, mm -hmm. because they think it's just very male dominated and and really it should be for everyone. Um, I think that if you share it with your spouse, if you share it with your partner, then it can be a very uh, loving experience, and I think it can teach you a lot. And you can it's not a negative. Um, wow. it can be a very positive experience and bring you up to new ideas and and actually you know connect you with other with your husband else or your partner it can connect you with each other in ways that you wouldn't know until you do share because it did with me. um that's you know my husband and i that's how we originally started to kind of get into things to watch it together and mm -hmm. so afraid of it so it definitely is something that i would like to share with others and that's really what my studio is all about um is to um provide fantasies for women and real women you don't have to be a porn star you can be a woman and, and come and shoot porn with me and you know be on camera if you want to be if you want to be on camera if you want to bring your husband if you want to bring your boyfriend if you want to have stranger if you do a gangbang <laughs> no i don't really care what you want to do but i i'll 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 help you do so you know, it was with us. It was all about my fantasies and fulfilling my fantasies. So that's what we like to do: is fulfill women's fantasies. So it's very much a female-oriented um, uh, company, and uh, very from their perspective. So if I had an unlimited budget, then I definitely would make it, you know, beautiful and, and uh -huh. place um, that we would shoot from, um, and about the perspective of a woman. So it would be more about that. <laughs> I got it. I got it. So our next one, uh, you know, there are more and more young girls. They want to be famous, want to be rich. So mm -hmm. they start to shooting some like picture, sex picture, maybe in the porn industry. So you already in this industry more than ten years. Do you have some advice for these rookies? Well, I can tell them they're not going to be rich. <laughs> That's the first thing. You're not going to go into this industry and get rich. I mean, it's not, it, that's not going to happen. Um, and honestly, acting in general, that doesn't happen. You know, there's really just, you know, a small handful of people who truly, really make it. You know, yeah. there's tons, tons of actors that act every day and they're so talented, but they just, they're not the movie star, you know, and, and so you have to work hard. It's, it's not something that's easy to do. Anyone can do it. You, I mean, nowadays there's so many platforms out there that you can yeah, make yeah. your own content. You don't have to go and move to LA and put yourself in a situation where you can't afford to live there. Um, it's very expensive. Move somewhere where it's really expensive to live there. Yeah. You can do it from your own home. You can, you, you know, now there are things like webcam. There are things like, um, model houses there are things people wear that can help you get into the industry there are people like me that you can contact on social media who can give you advice on how to do it correctly and not get scammed and not be hooked up with the wrong type of people because you know there's a lot of people out there that don't have good intentions um so um you know the best way to do it is really just to to talk to people get advice from people you know, find the right type of people to talk to and people who are experienced at it. I started out at not knowing anything, you know, not again, I live in Texas. I'm not in LA. I'm not in Florida. I'm not where every, everything. Happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm able to 
I, I've been able to have a career in this business for over 10 years, and it's all about making my own content. It's not about shooting for other people and keeping it because we don't get residuals. We don't get, once you shoot for them, you're a person, you get paid for what you've done, and that's it. So you're not going to keep getting paid for that scene over and over again. Yeah, yeah. So if you make it for yourself, you own it. <laughs> You can sell it over and over and over and over again. You know, there's billions of people in this world that would like to. Do it. So the best thing to do is make your own. Um, but if you come and shoot for a company like our company, you know, it's that is more of a marketing tactic, which I used for mm -hmm. all these is this to get your name. Out. The best way is to get shoot for other companies, get your name out there and then shoot your own content as, as well so that you can sell it for yourself. I see. Uh, I think next one is more difficult question for you. If okay. you are not married now, you are you are single. You know, you you have one chance to date with these three people. You choose one. Number one, Johnny Sings. Okay. Number two, Small Hands. Yeah. Number three, Brad Pitt. Which one you choose? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Uh, mm. Wow, that's hard. Yeah. <laughs> It's hard. Well, Small Hands is married to Joanna Angel. <laughs> <laughs> I think Brad Pitt's the only one that's single, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, they are all single. No, oh, for example, they are all single and you are all single. single. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just well, a date. I've never, I've never seen date. Brad Pitt's penis. <laughs> <laughs> the other two I have seen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, maybe just... Maybe positive, just, positive just a romantic too. date. No sex. No sex. Just a romantic okay, date. No sex involved. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'd have to get to know them personally then. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I've, met, I've met Small Hands and he seems like a really cool guy. I've never met Johnny Sins, so I don't really know. But uh, yeah, so I guess I'd have to say him just because I've met him and he seems really sweet. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. So, you know, these three kind of the men, they, they are three different kind. Number one, Johnny Sings, strong, right? right. Number two, small hand, very cool. Yeah. And the Brad Pitt, you know, hands-on guy. Handsome. Right? Yeah. I got well, it. Well, you know, I say small hands is the closest to my husband because he's full of tattoos. Is <laughs> <laughs> uh, full of tattoos. So, I, I have to say he's more my time. <laughs> okay. So, do you have any hobbies? I'm sorry? Do you have any hobbies? Any hobbies? Well, yeah. I have I have a family and I have this career and this business, so I really don't have any time for hobbies except for movies. I love movies and I love I love um, you know yeah that's about it. I mean, reading and movies. That's those are my hobbies. Uh, I see. So, what kind of food you like best? Books. I like romantic novels. So yeah, everything always leads back to sex. <laughs> <laughs> in some way or fashion <laughs> or it. crime movies I'm very much into crime TV and so I love crime movies I love weird you know, things about serial killers I don't know I'm a little morbid <laughs> so I do like I like things about that and I like things about you know witchcraft and and things about ghosts and I, I don't know so so anything about strange you know odd things <laughs> Okay, so how much do you know about China? How much do I know about China? Uh, not a lot. You know, China's one of those... I've never been there. I mean, I would like to visit there someday. Um, I don't really know a lot about China. Chinese often. food? Oh, I love Chinese food. That's like my favorite. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I absolutely love any form of Asian food. That's, you know, yes. That's what I ate last night. So yes, I love Asian food. So any form of Asian food, I'm for. Sushi, okay. yes. So food-wise, I know quite a bit, but culture-wise, not so much. Yeah. Okay. So many fans they want to know what size about your boobs. Oh, my boobs. They are yeah. thirty-six uh, triple D. 36 triple D. Wow, huge! Yeah, huge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, huge. Yeah, it's nature, right? Yeah, I can't wear Victoria's Secret. <laughs> <laughs> but 
No yeah. way to Victor and Secret. Yeah, they don't they're, like they're, the they're big boobs, right? Secret. I can't find any. I don't really wear bras because they just don't. They're not very comfortable and they don't fit. So oh, I got it. So <laughs> do you have do you have plan when you will be retired? Do I have plan when I retire? Yeah. Um. Really, I hope that this company grows and I can hire other people to do the job I do, um, and I can continue just to direct and and. Uh, We're actually starting a podcast in the near future, so that is a plan. Um, as well as I have a degree in psychology and a degree in sociology, wow. um, so um, really just therapy. I mean, I'm more about you know all about helping others. And like I said, I was a teacher, and I would go more the route of you know counselors, like therapy, maybe sex therapy, but really just therapy in general. So that's I... really my plan. <laughs> okay. I think it is so of、uh, all of us question. It's very easy, but I think it's very interesting. It's enough for the fans. They they will know more and more about you. I'm sure. <laughs> okay, that's it. Thank you so much.